All right, here's the thing. I didn't know that I needed my hormones balanced until I was trying to get pregnant and it was just taking too long, in my opinion, right? And so I wanna share with you some tips on how I balance my hormones and how you, you know, exactly how you can do it in a week's time. And now let me, let me say, I'm not saying that your hormones will be completely balanced in one week. I'm saying that you will see improvement, right? The hope is that you will see improvement in your hormones, in the balancing of your hormones, in your body, in your health, as long as you implement these activities, these steps uh, into your day by day routine. So let's get into it. My name is Octavia Steen. I am a fertility coach. I am also a health coach and the CEO of Mother Mindset. I help women, I empower women of God to really overcome negative thoughts in their journey and get healthy from the inside out. And so if that is you, I am so glad that you're here, but I wanna share with you some tips on how to balance your hormones. But if you have not yet grabbed my free fertility nutrition guide, you will want to do that like right now, well, after the video, okay? After the video, you can go to the link in the description down below and get your free fertility guide to help process, right, with this information that I'm giving you and to help, you know, implement the steps and take the steps you need to in order to balance your hormones. So let's get into this video. Last week, we discussed some common symptoms of hormonal imbalance. So if you haven't yet checked out that video, go and check that video out first to see maybe if you have some of these uh, imbalances and to see if this you know system would work for you but today we're going to talk about a step-by-step -step process on how to balance your hormones in a week right get on the process get into the process of balancing your hormones um, because a lot of the times when I talk with my clients you know I give them the tools that they need to you know balance their hormones uh, but they don't take the steps right you have to take the steps you have to do what it is right in the um, plan in the, the hormone balancing plan you have to actually follow it and so I want to give you step by step but I, you know I want you to do it day by day right day by day so that you can see what it is that's going on in your body to see progress and to see improvement in your hormones okay all right so day one on day one i want you to evaluate your hormonal imbalances i want you to look at your cycle right this is for women i want you to look at your cycle and see if there are some hormonal imbalances going on and how do you do that like i said i have a video that i did prior to this video so go check it out about what are the symptoms of hormonal imbalance so that's the step one that's day one i want you to evaluate day two I want you to change your eating habits, right? We have to change our eating habits. The fertility guide, the, the free fertility and nutrition guide that I post is a guide on changing your eating habits, changing the foods that you're putting into your body to help balance your hormones. So check that out. Um, like I said, that'll be linked in the description down below. So the second day, change your eating habits okay so it's like if you if you don't do anything if you stop at day two <laughs> change your eating habits that's i i don't know how many times i can say that on this channel <laughs> you know because the the common the common culprits to you know our hormonal imbalance is foods that we're putting into our body what we're putting into our body can affect our hormones can affect our bodies so when we're putting those added sugars uh some people are sensitive to meat when we're putting in us uh, you know sensitivities to dairy right uh all these trans fats all of these things we are essentially messing up our natural process so Make sure you go check out that facility nutrition guide so that you will know what foods to put into your body in order to help balance your hormones. All right, day three, you're gonna start exercising. If you have not already, <laughs> you're gonna start exercising 20 to 30 minutes a day, okay? We're gonna implement that habit. 20 to 30 minutes a day. And no, walking at work does not count, sis. Walking at work does not count. I want you to engage in some actual heart pumping exercise right i want you to lift up some weights i want you to do some hit workouts some high intensity workouts i want you to really 
make sure that you're getting your cardiovascular system up and running uh, so that it's moving blood flow through your body so that you can help in balancing your hormones in this way 20 to 30 minutes of exercise a day is day three i actually have a free workout that i will send to you i have a fitness accountability group if you apply for that group you instantly get sent a free workout and a free uh five day workout challenge and so if that is something that you're interested in you can go ahead and apply down below so in the symptom video the hormonal imbalance symptom video talked about anxiety and depression and fatigue and all these things so day four is managing your stress factors right deciding right writing out things that stress you out writing out things that you know don't you don't necessarily need in your life that cause you fear and anxiety right and writing those things out and managing those things with the holy spirit and with different coping strategies um i teach my clients in my fertile faith sisterhood of how to do this you know in exact steps but you know the first step is acknowledging what is stressing you out in the first place so you know day four is managing stress factors all right day five is a biggie it is improving your sleep getting into the uh, getting into better sleep habits okay getting into better sleep habits will help your body rest will help your mind rest because when we're constantly go 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 we're not allowing our bodies to reset our bodies are out of whack right we're out of the natural process we're meant to sleep <laughs> we're meant to sleep and getting an optimal seven hours to eight hours of sleep at night yes i said seven to eight sorry to those breastfeeding mamas i know how you feel i know i know and i'm about to know i'm currently 21 weeks pregnant i'm about to know again <laughs> how that feels but it's optimal right that's why when we're you know postpartum it's all over the place hormones are all over the place postpartum because we're not getting adequate sleep, right? We're working on zombie mode or mommy mode, as most people call it. But getting sleep, making sure that you're setting a routine at night, get into a bedtime routine so that you can actually get some sleep, right? Getting into a routine of going to bed, right? Instead of watching and binge watching that Netflix show and going to sleep instead so that you can wake up rejuvenated and ready to work out. All right, so sleep, day five. Day six, address any gut health issues that you have. Gut health, so important. So important for your uh, body, so important for your uh, hormone balance, so important for fertility, for getting pregnant. Gut health, if I can't stress gut health enough, it falls into the category of eating correctly, right? It falls into the category of getting exercise in so that you can continue to move that blood flow through your body. But gut health is so important for um, us as women, right? Because our cycles are on, we are, we're on this cyclic, what do they call it? Like a cyclic period when our cycles, that's why women have cycles and men Men got it good. <laughs> but, you know, that's why we're on these cycles. When we're on these cycles, all of our hormones are going up and down and up and down. And having, making sure that our gut health is optimal, that our gut health is improved, will only help our cycles do what they need to do even better. And day seven, invest in a coach. Invest in a coach. If you need a health coach, I'm here to help guide you through working out and eating right. If you need a nutritionist, right, you can go to your doctor and they can recommend, you know, a nutritionist for you. They can recommend dietitians for you. Um, you know, there's just so many different resources out there. If you're currently on a fertility journey, I'm a fertility coach. So I also coach in that realm as well. And so find you some, you know, invest in something invest in someone who can help you right if you are finding that you know you can't do this on your own you're finding that you know you don't have all of the knowledge that you that you require for what you're trying to do for your goals for getting healthy for getting pregnant you know look into a coach you know look into do your research and figure out if that's something that would fit your lifestyle and so i hope these tips were helpful and how to balance your hormones in a week's time you know how to help improve your hormonal balance um and a step-by-step -step process and I just pray that you have an amazing day, that you take these steps and you run with it. Go grab all of my freebies <laughs> down below in the description, and I will talk to you in another video. Adios.